today's topic is a paper system it is generally related to soil mechanics so now uh, just consider some ground here some rapid ground um, wherever you want and this take this to be uh, the water level uh, let's assume the water level is here so I am taking some soil from this portion of the ground all right so that when magnified is looks like this right but in this position or in this uh, representation it is very difficult to derive any formulas or to actually look into the matter right so we are representing it the same the same this is the same with this characterized diagram this is called the three phase system but you may have some doubts regarding this because you know when we look at the soil in reality this the soil will never be like this so how did you do this now uh, for this part I want you to assume that this position this I mean this region this particular region is within the solids region so then there will be solids and in between solids there will be voids and that's what this is about this representation this pink line is about so that's it uh, let us call this as the void region and let this is the solids region uh, why do the voids occur because when the solids are arranged the soils are arranged the solids solid particles of the soil are arranged porously then there are voids these voids will be filled with air or water so the soil might be classified depending upon the uh, the item it is filled oil or water so first let's just consider this this is the solids these are uh, this is the voids part and this is the volumetric representation this is the weight representation um, this actually in a conventional representation this volume parts are on the left side and these weight parts are generally shown on the right side but whatever way you show it will not change the way you derive so I'm considering it on the left side weights so this is the volume of air volume of water volume of soils total volume of the soil and this is the volume of the voids part now this is pretty much self-explanatory just like this total weight weight of voids weight of air weight of water and weight of solids here weight of air is we know that it is almost negligible so we may not use it anyway uh, we'll be using these representations throughout the geotechnical engineering so make sure you get a grip on them now this is the two-phase system this is also the two-phase system these are the two types of two-phase systems derived from this how let's just see it this is the white portion so assume this air portion that is the whites which are filled by air or filled by water what happens the total voids will be filled by water then this portion occurs that means the voids all the voids of the soil are filled by water that's how the soil becomes fully saturated now the vice versa if the water particles i mean the voids filled with air filled with water then this occurs and this is called a dry soil that's how the three phase system and two phase system are defined and we will look into the deri derivations and more formulas in the formulae in the next video